Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be cooking green beans and new potatoes, but I want to begin by telling you a story. When I was a little girl growing up, my parents grew almost everything that we ate. I'm sure a lot of your parents did the same thing. And two of the things that they grew every year included green beans and new potatoes. Well, around February the 14th is when they always planted the new potatoes. So they would go out and prepare the soil and drop the potatoes and cover them up and then we would just sit back and wait. And then the potatoes would begin to come up and we would get so excited. And one of the most exciting days of the year would be when we realized that the potatoes were ready to harvest or ready to start gathering and we would go in the kitchen and literally get a spoon from the kitchen and go outside and we would dig around the root and dig around in the potatoes to see if they were ready to eat. Well, when they got about that big, we knew that we could start digging potatoes and start eating. So we always looked forward to that and enjoyed it. But what I really want to tell you is how we gathered and how we stored the potatoes, which is so amazing to me as I look back. When the potatoes had matured and um, my parents felt like they had grown as big as they were going to get, then they would go in and they would plow the potatoes up. And we would go out and we would gather them and put them in hampers and buckets or whatever we had to put them in. And we would go and we would store them. Well, you will not believe where we stored our potatoes. We stored them for the winter underneath our house. We lived in a house that was raised up off of the ground, the crawl space, it was not enclosed around the house, and it was dark and it was cool under there. So my parents would just, I don't know who went under there and put the potatoes, I might have, but I don't remember it, but they would crawl under the house and they would spread the potatoes out and they would dry out and then we would have potatoes all winter. And another place that I remember that they stored the potatoes was out in the barn. We had a, a nice barn, uh, had a crib where we kept our corn and had stalls where we parked our tractor and put our equipment. And uh, so I guess that overall, I guess it was a pretty nice barn. I probably didn't think so back in the day, but looking back, it was the very best that they could do. But sometimes they would spread some hay out and they would put the potatoes out there as well. And again, it was dark and it was cool and that helped to preserve the, the potatoes and then we enjoyed them all winter as I already said. So now I'm going to bring you over and I'm gonna show you how we cooked our potatoes back then and how I'm going to cook them today. Okay, let me show you how my mother prepared her potatoes. And I don't do this very often, but I just love it when I'll take the time to do it. I found these little potatoes at the grocery store and they were called petiters, I guess because they were so small. But my mother did not um, peel her potatoes. She scraped her potatoes just like this. And I think most people scraped them, and I don't know why they scraped them other than when you um, peel potatoes, you lose a lot of the potato because you cut it thick, you peel them thick, and it just wastes a lot of the potato. So they scrape their potatoes. I've already scraped four of the potatoes, and I just wanted to show you exactly how she did it and how I'm doing it. My family loves them scraped. They almost have a different taste. And you see these little string beans or green beans that I have over here. I found those at the grocery store. They're real tender, they're real young. So I'm going to cook the potatoes and the beans in the same pot at the same time. I don't do that often either, but my mother cooked them that way, and I don't know why I don't. I should, because you can um, do two things at one time. Now, these little things right here are called the eye, and so I'm just gonna take my knife and get that out like that. If you were going to let these sprout so that you could plant them for new potatoes, that's where the sprout would come out. There's a little bad place right there. 
So I'm just gonna cut that out. And then that one's ready to go. And then I'm just gonna do another one real quickly. And if you want to take these over to the sink and run water, they scrape really fast, really easily. And you can tell I've got on some gloves because this potato peeling will stain your uh, fingers. And not that my hands stay beautiful because I keep them in dishwater and I work in the yard so much that I don't spend a lot of time going for manicures and taking care of my hands like I should. I should do a better job of that. But this is the way that she scraped potatoes. I'd love to hear in the comments if your parents or if you scrape your potatoes. Let me just get these little eyes out right here and we'll be finished in just a second and I'll put this together and get it on the stove to boiling. Gonna take it out just like that. And there you have it. That looks like enough potatoes. I'm gonna set this aside. Take my gloves off and I'm gonna take this pot right here and I'm going to put my green beans in the pot. Spread them out. And you can tell I don't have very many because it's just me and Doug. And then I'm going to drop the potatoes on top of the green beans. Like that. Next, I'm going to, we need some seasoning. So I'm going to add some bacon that I've cut up here. This was two slices of bacon and I just cut it up into small pieces. Now, I'm going to cover it with water. I'm gonna add a little salt. And there you have it, we have green beans and potatoes. I'm going to put it on top of the stove, bring it to a boil, turn it down low, let it cook. It'll probably cook in 35 to 45 minutes. And when it gets done, I'll come back and I'll show it to you. Okay, our green beans and potatoes are done. They're ready to serve. And we're gonna sit down and enjoy them. And I had a piece of center cut ham that I'm going to fix for dinner and we're gonna have that with this and have a complete meal. I hope you have a blessed day and I'll talk to you again really soon.